Hello, Emma. How was school for you today? I had fun today. That's good. Did you learn anything new today? Oh, yeah. We were learning about the excretory system. Can you help me, James? Of course. What do you need help with? Well, I know there was something about the skin, but I don't know what that has to do with excretion. Oh? That one's easy. Your urea, water, and salt is excreted through the skin as sweat. What's urea? Well, my dear sister, urea is a toxic compound produced when amino acids are used for energy. Okay. Thank you, brother. I don't really know the part about um, kid noihas either. If you wouldn't mind helping me with that? Silly Emma. They are called kidneys. They are, in my opinion, the main organs of excretion. So, what do you want to learn about them? Well, I remember learning about nephrons. It's all so confusing though. It hurts my head just to think about it. Well, do you remember the structures of a nephron? Hmm, let me think. Oh yeah, there's the Bowman's capsule. It's a cup-shaped structure that holds the glomerulus, a small network of capillaries. Fluids from the blood is moved into the Bowman's capsule. I think this is called filtration. Great job, Emma. You deserve a cracker. After filtration comes reabsorption. Did you go over that yet? No, Mr. Brown said we'll work on that tomorrow. Well then, just so you can be ahead in class, let's go over that today. Okay. Well, first of all, we must define reabsorption. Do you know what it is? Well, I'm sure it has something to do with reabsorbing something. You are correct. It is the reabsorption of nutrients such as glucose and amino acids through active transport. What about water? Good question. Because of osmosis, 99% of the water that enters the Berman's capsule leaves through reabsorption. I also heard Mr. Brown say something about a loop of some kind. The loop of Henel. Yeah, thought the name. What is it? Well, it is a section of tubule where the volume of urine is minimized. What's urine? Hum. Well, urine is what you know of as pee. You? Yucky. Anyways. The urine is then sent to the urethra to then be transported to the urinary bladder. What's the urethra? The urethra is a tube that transports urine to the urinary bladder. What's that? The urinary bladder? Yeah. Well, the urinary bladder is the storage unit where urine awaits excretion. That way the urine doesn't just leak out. Oh, and that's all the kidneys do? No, that's not all. The kidneys also play a key role in maintaining homeostasis. What's homeostasis? Well, if you must know, it is the process of maintaining a relatively stable internal environment. Oh, okay. And how does it do that? The kidneys regulate the water content of the blood and blood volume, remove wastes from the blood, and they maintain the acidity level of the blood. Oh, but Stanley lost a second kidney. If there hadn't been another person with a good kidney for him, what would have happened? Well, poor Stanley would have had to use a dialysis machine. What's that? A dialysis machine is like a mechanical kidney. It acts as a giant nephron by removing urea into a jar for used dialysis fluid, and releases fresh dialysis fluids into the blood. The blood then leaves through the air detector. Thanks, brother. You're much more smarter than me. I thank you. But wait. We hadn't yet learned about the lungs role in excretion. Oh? Well that's really simple. When you exhale, carbon dioxide leaves your body. That's it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, you better get ready to do your homework. I'm sure you have plenty to do. Do I have to? Yes. Yes you do Emma.